Hey everybody, it's Miss V. So for today's video, I will be showing you guys how to do a small art project. It is called sugar painting. It is messy, but it is fun and I can't wait to show you guys. Let's get started. Alrighty, so let's start off with the items that we will need for this project. So we're gonna need one baking pan large enough to fit our white piece of paper. Um, one piece of paper or many pieces of paper, depending on how many you wanna do a muffin pan about six paint um, six colors of paint you could also use food coloring if you like glue a paintbrush a cup and a half of sugar a paper towel or a napkin one small jar of water to clean your paintbrush and then one large cup of water alrighty so the first step to our our project is to grab our glue and what we're gonna do with the glue is create a little art design so it could be anything as a jellyfish a soccer ball um, the ocean whatever you want to do so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a big jellyfish so how you do a jellyfish is you do a half circle and then you close that half circle and then some squiggly lines all the way down, just like that. I'm gonna do about four. Okay, and then I'm gonna add some dots. And there's our jellyfish. Alrighty, so the next step is to grab our cup and a half of sugar and just use your hands for this part. Um, we're gonna grab, pinch the sugar and sprinkle it all over our paper on top of the glue. There we go. Fill it all up. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab our paper and kind of get all the sugar in there. Fill it all up so it looks puffy. Alrighty, so that's how it should look like. It should look pretty crystallized. If you wanna add more, don't be afraid. I think mine is good for now. While we wait for our little art design to dry just a bit, I'm going to move it to the side and grab our muffin pan. So what we're going to do with the muffin pan is grab all our colors and dip them, or not dip them, but um, pour some into the pan. Again, you can use food coloring if you like or you can use paint, any kind of paint, as long as it has color. So just a bit, just a little drop, not a lot. We're gonna grab our huge cup of water and pour some water in there. Ooh, getting some on our paper. All right, next up is to start our paint. Now, this is where our rag comes handy. So make sure to clean your brush every time so um, when we dip it in again, you don't mix the colors up. We do not wanna change the colors.
so I waited about 10 more minutes to let the uh, sugar art dry a bit more. It did get a little um, moist here, so the sugar went around, but that is okay. So now it's time to start painting our art project. So I really love the color purple and blue, but you could you could put whatever color paint you want for these. Um, so first things first is to dip and just gently tap on your art. The sugar will absorb the paint. So you don't really have to do much work. Just tap, tap, like that. If you want to make this super colorful, you can also add blue, kind of make it like a tie-dye. That would be cool. Get some green in there, stir that up. Like that. Alrighty, so this is the outcome of my sugar painting. As you can see, it's kind of like coming out of the um, sugar and the glue, which is okay. Um, it is our first time doing it, so that is totally okay. Next time we could tweak it, maybe add a little more sugar or let it dry a little more so it could stay intact. But I think it came out pretty good. What do you guys think? Thank you so much for joining me in my sugar painting. This was my first time, so... I did have a little hiccups, but that is okay. I'm gonna keep striving and doing it all over again. If you do do this at home, do not be afraid to make a mess. Do not, make sure you're cleaning it up though, <laughs> but do not be afraid to start all over or like whatever you need to do. That's totally okay. As long as you have fun with it and you enjoy your time. Thank you so much for joining me again and see you next time.